The Magic Tree House Once upon a time, in a small town surrounded by whispering woods, there lived a curious brother and sister named Max and Lily. They loved exploring, especially the old forest near their home. One sunny afternoon, while playing hide-and-seek, Lily stumbled upon something extraordinary, a treehouse high up in an ancient oak tree, hidden away from sight. Max, come look. Lily called excitedly. Max hurried over, eyes wide with wonder. Wow, how did we never see this before? he asked. The treehouse looked old, with vines creeping up its wooden walls, but it seemed sturdy. There was a rope ladder hanging down, swaying gently in the breeze. Without a second thought, the two climbed up. As they reached the top, they found a small door with a golden doorknob. The moment Lily turned the knob, the door swung open, and they stepped inside. The treehouse was cozy and filled with strange objects, maps, books, and a telescope pointing out of a little window. On a dusty table in the center of the room lay an old book with a leather cover. The title read, Adventures in Magical Lands. Let's read it. Max suggested. Lily opened the book, and as she began to read aloud, the words started to glow. Suddenly, the treehouse shook, and the children felt a rush of wind. Before they knew it, the treehouse lifted off the ground, spinning and swirling through the air. When the spinning stopped, Max and Lily peeked out the window. They gasped in amazement. The treehouse had transported them to a new place, a land of giant flowers and glowing butterflies, with a sparkling river flowing through the middle. Where are we? Lily whispered. Max spotted a sign nearby that read, Welcome to the land of the Rainbow River. As they climbed down the ladder, a friendly creature with the body of a bunny and wings like a butterfly fluttered towards them. Hello, travelers. I'm Flutter, guardian of the Rainbow River, the creature said in a cheerful voice. Welcome to our land. But beware, the river has lost its colors, and the magic here is fading. Max and Lily looked at each other. They knew they had to help. How can we restore the colors? Max asked. Flutter led them to the riverbank, where a sad-looking rainbow fish swam in the dull water. The river's colors come from the rainbow gems, Flutter explained, but they've been stolen by the mischievous goblins who live in the crystal cave. Lily and Max didn't hesitate. We'll get them back, they said together. Flutter gave them a magical map that showed the way to the crystal cave. With the map in hand, the siblings set off on their quest. They crossed fields of giant flowers, climbed over sparkling hills, and finally reached the entrance of the cave. Inside, the cave glittered with crystals of every color, but in the center of the cave sat the goblins, guarding the rainbow gems. Max and Lily had to think fast. They whispered a plan and then bravely approached the goblins. The goblins, greedy for anything that sparkled, eagerly took the pouch. While they were distracted, Max quickly grabbed the rainbow gems. Run! Max shouted. They dashed out of the cave, the goblins realizing too late that they'd been tricked. Max and Lily hurried back to the Rainbow River and placed the gems into the water. As soon as the gems touched the river, the colors returned, more vibrant than ever. The water sparkled with reds, blues, greens, and purples, and the whole land seemed to come alive with magic. Thank you, brave travelers. Flutter cheered, as the rainbow fish danced joyfully in the colorful water. Max and Lily smiled, happy to have saved this magical land. But they knew it was time to return home. They climbed back up into the treehouse, opened the magical book again, and felt the familiar swirl of wind. In an instant, the treehouse was back in their own forest, the sun setting in the distance. As they climbed down and headed home, Max turned to Lily and said, I wonder where the treehouse will take us next time. Lily grinned. I can't wait to find out. And with that, they hurried home, excited for the next adventure the magic treehouse would bring. Thank you for watching. Subscribe us Tileshaw Story.